Okay, you guys, so I'm really sorry that I didn't have a vlog up the past day or two or whatever it's been. We just had a lot going on and yeah, I just, I really don't have like a valid excuse. So I'm just going to say like, I'm sorry. A lot has happened in those two days that I want to fill you in on. So I am getting ready to go to the grocery store. We're going to chat on the way. So what has been going on the past day or two? Well, on our way back from LA, we were driving and I was actually sleeping because it was really early in the morning that we decided we were gonna drive home. All of a sudden I get woken up to this really loud noise that had like hit our car. So I wake up like frantic and I'm like, oh my God, what was that, what was that? My side of the car, like the side view mirror, last part had like come attached. It was still hanging on by like, uh, I don't know, wires or something. And so it was like pounding up against the glass window and that's all I could see, so I was like, oh my god, like somebody hit our car. And Travis was like, no, nobody hit our car. Like, I guess there was like a bunch of semis on the road, and the semi had like run something over or like had gone by it really fast, and it flew up like this big hard piece of plastic. We don't know exactly what it was. It hit our car and like completely destroyed like the side part of our car. And I thought it was just the side view mirror, but it's not. It's more than that and so we have to get like the the car fixed so I'll show you guys when I get out um, what like what the car looks like but it's a bummer that happened I got my YouTube play button for this channel so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway because if you uh, remember from a while ago I said as soon as I get the play button I'm gonna do a giveaway so that just might be in this vlog we'll see if I have time to do it towards the end just a little update, I am getting my um, chest, I think I told you guys in the last vlog that I needed to get more cut out of my chest um, to make sure they got it all. And so that I'm doing on Halloween, which kind of sucks because I wanted to like go out and do fun stuff on Halloween, but I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. Um, but I am going to try to vlog if I can. They also said that at this appointment of me getting like this huge chunk hole taken out of my chest um, that they wanted to take out other spots on my body because I guess like when you first get a skin check, like this could be different for for everybody as dermatologists, but mine like they don't like biopsy every single mole that they think looks suspicious. They I guess they just did like a few and then you know if anything comes back then obviously they decide on whether they want to check your body more, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, my dermatologist is now concerned with the results that I got, so she is going to want to probably biopsy more things off of me. And, like, when I first went in, when I first went in, I thought, like, oh, I'm just getting a skin check, like, you know, whatever. I didn't think, like, I was going to have, like, a bunch of stuff cut off. Like, maybe one cut off me, maybe, but, like, I, she took three. So it was just more than I expected, but it is what it is, right guys? It's like life, it just happens. Things happen that you don't plan and you know, you just do the best with the cards you're dealt. I'm on the way to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be getting a squash. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I actually showed it in one of my old vlogs and one of you guys had actually tried it and wrote in the comments like that it was really good. It's the squash chow mein, so I'm gonna be making that. You guys, the craziest thing just happened. So I went into the post office and I had like a bunch of packages. So I'm like trying to carry all these packages and everyone like here is so nice. They're like, oh, do you need help? Like, can I help you carry that? Or, you know, do you want me to get you a cart? Like people are just so friendly out here. It's one of the reasons I love Folsom. But I'm waiting in line and I'm hearing like this really beautiful sounding like music. And I'm like, where is that coming from? Because I know that there's no radio like playing in the post office. So I'm looking around and I'm waiting in line to get it like to pick up a package. And so I'm like just waiting around, waiting around. And then I realize that it's coming from this old man. 
and he's whistling. It did not, like, whistling hurts my ears because it's, like, really high-pitched and, you know, I have, like, that weird, like, no, uh, sound thing that I have. Me and my 101 problems. Um, so, it, like, it, it was, like, the most beautiful whistling I've ever heard. And I was just, like, shocked. And he was whistling Amazing Grace. And I was just, like, so shocked. And I was, like, almost, like, um, like hypnotized by his music by his whistling it, I was insane anyway um and then all of a sudden he turns around like randomly and looks at me because I'm standing in line and he's like that is an interesting hairstyle <laughs> let me show you what my hair looks by the way mess it's just like my messy bun you know and it was just really 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 odd like the whistling it almost sounded like I don't know it was like creepy but calming and like I don't know guys, that guy's whistling was like on another level. Uh, I thought I'd like mention that because I thought it was like really odd, but cool. Okay, so I got a bunch of mail. I need to do a PO box unboxing because if not, it just gets piled up to the point where I just get really overwhelmed with it. So um, I'm gonna head over to Kohl's, which is right next door, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. So here is some of the damage that was done to the car. As you could see that like, mirror banged up all against this and on the glass and then here you can see like it looks like a scrape but it's actually a dent it goes like in I don't know if you could tell or not but yeah it did a little damage to the to the car you probably aren't gonna believe this but I am actually cooking <laughs> I'm making the spaghetti squash chow mein. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the oven. I did it all by myself, I'm so proud. Other than I did have Travis help me cut the squash open because it was kind of hard for me. So there is the squash is baking for 40 minutes. So still has 35 left to go. And then I actually scooped the seeds out. I'm gonna try baking them. So we'll see how that goes. Is my YouTube thing, let's open it up together. Alright. Dun, dun, dun. So cool. Um, thank you. <laughs> and there it is, you guys, how exciting. My hundred K for the vlogging channel plaque. So cool. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, I've said this before a million times, but I am just so so grateful for each and every one of you, even the haters that leave nasty comments because um, it's allowed me so many cool opportunities that I would have never had before. And it's put me in touch with you guys from like all over the world that I would have never like made friends with you guys or been able to talk to you guys um, without this platform and without you guys subscribing and making my channel what it is. So. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I know every YouTuber says this when they get their plaque or whatever, um, but I really do truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. Having like this is really awesome, but I think the cooler thing and what this kind of um, means to me is that when I'm having a bad day and I post a video, my subscribers will see that and you guys will reach out to me and make me feel better. and. You guys will are you guys are there for me is basically what I'm trying to say and that means more than anything in the whole world more than money awards nothing um, can replace that and so I want to say thank you very much and that I appreciate and love you guys very much and I hope that you know that um, even if I don't say it all the time just know I'm thinking it so yeah I am going to do a giveaway so I'll just do the giveaway here I guess Obviously be subscribed to this channel, uh, hit the thumbs up button, just follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Just make sure that you follow me on all my social media and my channels. Comment below what you're going to be for Halloween this year. I'm a winner and I'll put all the details in the description box and I'll do like the random dot something. I forget what it is. I need to look it up. Um, but yeah, I'll do all that and then I will. Oh, and then what am I going to do for the giveaway? It's going to be a surprise bag of a bunch of like beauty, makeup and skincare stuff and it's really good stuff so I'm excited and it's gonna be a surprise and I hope that you guys like it and thank you again for subscribing to my channel and being a part of the Rose family because we love you very much and you guys I have my fire on 
and it's so warm and cozy right here. Oh, let me show you guys my outfit for today. I had a um, jacket on, that like pink jacket. So I'm wearing this. It's actually like a workout shirt that my mom got me that I love. It's so comfortable. And then these are my Target leggings I got from a while ago. And then these are my old pink Uggs that I've had forever. And I thought like it was fun and cute and Travis complimented me on my outfit. So, I'm, oh my gosh, who is that? Who is that? Hey you, handsome. You're so handsome, aren't you? Are you the king of the house? Is this your house? And we're just living in it? Yep. <laughs> You're so cute, bandit. You don't want me to leave? Are you being cute for me? <laughs> He's so funny, isn't he? So, yeah. Oh, another thing I want to mention. Um, I've been doing really good. Like, yesterday I was really upset. And, um, and like, you know, it's just stuff you have to deal with. But I'm not going to say, like... I'm not going to be too upset about it because it could be way worse. And I'm just thinking of like the positive aspects of everything. And that makes me feel a lot better. But I do have to say that I am completely paranoid about the sun now. I need to, I hear you babies. Um, oh, what is it? He's so funny. Um, I need to wear sunscreen every day. And I found a sunscreen that I absolutely love because I hate wearing sunscreen for one. Like sometimes it'll get in my eyes if I'm like sweating or whatever, or it's like greasy or I feel like I could feel it on my face and I just, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. There's so many re like things that I don't like about wearing sunscreen. So sometimes I just won't wear it, but I found this amazing sunscreen. I've actually bought the whole line, um, but it's the Karen, Karen G is what it is. Here, let me go outside and show you. It'll look up, come up better, but it's, um, SPF 50. And this is like a moisturizer, a sunscreen, and like something else. But it's all natural, all cruelty free. I love this because it doesn't feel like you have sunscreen on. It's just like, it's awesome. So if you guys need a good sunscreen, I would definitely, it's a little pricey but it's worth it and a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. So, you know, you just put like a little like pea size amount and it will cover your whole face and neck. And then I just put like a little dab on the backs of my hands and that really uh, will help you. And trust me, uh, if you or anyone you know has had like skin cancer, you know you get like really paranoid. So sunscreen is my best friend now and I make sure that I put it on like right after I wash my face in the morning. Even if I don't think I'm leaving the house, being near a window or anything, like that sunscreen's going on me. So glad I found that. Hey, handsome. I know I got him. He's being so cute. You should have seen him earlier. He he's, he's knows all the sunspots in the house and moves from sunspot to sunspot to sunspot, like four different places or five different places like throughout the day. Hi, huh, Bandit. He sure does. Um, okay, let me show you what else I got because I, I was thinking doing like a whole review on this line because I ended up getting like the um, replenishing cleanser. I got the um, re revitalizing eye cream, basically almost the whole line, the restructuring night cream, and the retinol renewing serum. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff because I need to start taking really good care of my skin and I'm not messing around with that stuff anymore. So I got all that to take good care of it and then I'm going to use it for a little while and I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, but the sunscreen I've been using since I left the doctor's office and I really like it. So yeah. All right. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit cooking. <laughs> I'm going to keep cooking. And then um, I have my trainer at three. Uh, and then... I'm going to do a little editing because I have a Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. My Ghost of Cinderella makeup tutorial is coming out. Um, I always get a little nervous when I put those out because I don't put out a lot of makeup tutorials and I'm talking about on my main channel, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I might get like torn apart, but we'll see, right?